Uh, well, we've done um, arrays of uh, classes and arrays of interfaces. What about arrays of primitives? Um, well, the answer is, in fact, they're uh, inconvertible between each other. So uh, they can only be converted to an object type. So you can only go to and from uh, an object type. Um, so um, a byte array can't be widened to uh, an int array, for example. And uh, size, of course, as you might expect, is irrelevant. Um, uh, primitive array anomalies like this, so you can avoid them by using what's called wrapper classes. Um, there's something called byte int, short, and the others. And um, uh, these are classes, and uh, they hold, uh, uh, for example, here they would hold a, an it, just a single integer. And uh, you can define arrays of these sort. Um, and that's all to do with uh, boxing and unboxing and so on and we'll deal with that uh, sometime in the future uh, but uh, in the meantime here's some examples uh, I've got an integer array, a byte array, just a single type array, array of type and uh, an object array and uh, basically yeah, you can't do anything <laughs> uh, you can't set an integer array equal to a byte array even if you try and and um, to a cast it won't work or to type you can't cast anything like, like that and uh, in your array to byte array you can't uh, cast like that either so basically you can't, they're really incompatible now the only th direction you can go in is, is to object um, because all arrays are of type object so you can take a byte array put it into an object and uh, you can try and get an integer array out and uh, that will compile and uh, at runtime it will give an error so all you've done is just delay the error until runtime well uh, there's one special value that you can put into um, arrays of any sort or references of any sort and that's null and null of course can be assigned to anything so if it contains null like that you can um, Take this byte array and set it to null. Um, put that into object, and you can uh, get an integer array out. And you have to put the cast in, of course, because that's an object right there. So it has to be cast, and that will work quite happily. You can. It won't be an integer array, of course. It will be null, but uh, that will work because the actual contents of that is null, and null can be cast to any type at all, any any reference type. Um, but of course, even though that is byte array, for instance, contains null, uh, it still won't let you do that. The compiler will still trap it because that's a byte array you've got there. That's an integer array, and you can't cast. It's still incompatible. It doesn't even matter what's in there because um, uh, these are incompatible types. Uh, it's not like the case with um, with classes where uh, where there there was no direct link. Um, they were both classes, so in theory, you could do this cast. In when it comes to dealing with primitive arrays, they're incompatible. It won't even let you do that. The only direction you can go is to and from objects. Even object array, you can't go to and from them because uh, a type integer or something is, is not an object, so you can't, can't go like that. <laughs>